Hey guys, what's up? This is Technocube and I welcome you all. If you are new to my channel, then I insist you to subscribe my channel and share it. Thank you so much for that. Well, in this session, we will understand some of the examples of web server controls, such as label control, button control, text box control, and so on. Well, the first control that we're gonna see is label control. So let's get started. So I go to my file and then I go to new and I will create website. We already had seen how to create an empty website and a templated website. So we're gonna see the empty website and I press OK button. It'll take some time. Okay, so our website has been loaded. Now we, what the first step is, we go to our project and then right click on that and I will select add new item. And we will select web form from there. So the extension of this web form is going to be .aspx and I will hit on this add button. So it will add the web form to my project or to my website. Okay, so this is the HTML section and this is our design section where you can drag and drop the things inside the container or inside this div tag. I hope you are familiar with HTML tags and I don't need to consider it and make you explain what is this HTML body form div and all things like that. Okay. So the prerequisite for this course is you are aware of some HTML concept and we are uh, and we are you know moving further for that. Okay. So now I go to this design section and let me drag and drop two label label control. So I'll drag one label control here and then the another one I'll make a space here and then I'll make uh, the another one uh, dropped here inside this div tag. So if you get back to this source, you will see that your div tag has two labels. Okay. Now to write or to make this label control in action, what we're gonna do, we go to our .aspx.cs file. That is our code behind file. Okay. So I I expand this section here. And I will open default.aspx.cs. I hope you are getting the things. Okay, so I'll resize my fonts here. Going to be 150. And now I will resize also this one. And now inside this page load, I hope you know that what is page load. Whenever you run the application, the first page that is going to be loaded is your page load. It is very similar to that of form load event of Windows application in C Sharp. And I insist you if you haven't seen the Windows application, then please go through those playlists so that you can understand the basics of C Sharp. Okay, so the in the load event, in the page load event, we will write for the we will write the code for label control. So you can write something like this. I hope you all know this from the Windows application label one that we had taken label one dot txt that is text equals to whatever you want to give in the string okay so hello world welcome to my channel this is the text that i want or that i want to provide in the label control so now if you hit this green button or if you right click on your .aspx page, there is an option called as view in browser. So when you make this view in browser, when the browser is going to be run and when this URL or this page is going to be loaded, then this label.txt is going to be, you know, rendered. Okay. So I click on that view in browser and you will see the Firefox is going to be loaded. And once it has been loaded, okay, so there are so many tabs here, no problem. Once it is loaded, you can see here, hello world, welcome to my channel. 
Now let's say I want to increase the size of this label. How can I do that? Go to your default.aspx which is having your HTML part and your design part. So I click on this design section. I click on this label and I go to the properties and I will change the fonts of this. So how can I change it is with the help of this property font. And I will click on the size button and you will see there are options as smaller, larger, double X, small, small, medium, large and something like that. So I click on the large button and you will see now our label is going to be large enough to read. I refresh this and you will see it is it is somehow large now. Hello world welcome to my channel. Okay. So now let's say I have another label here. I can write something for this too. So I will click on I will write label 2 dot text equals to how you all are doing. <laughs> okay. So now I refresh this Firefox again. You will see the label 2 is also working now. Now let's say I want to change the color of this label. How can I do that? There are two options. Either you can change the label color from the properties or either you can change from the code behind file. Let's say I want to change it from the code behind file. How can I do that? Well, basically you need to do is label 1.4color and then system dot drawing. Oh my goodness. drawing dot color and then provide whatever the color you want so let's say my color is going to be uh, it's going to be blue violet then I hit it and I say I want to do the color for label 2 so I will just copy this and I will paste here for the label 2 so this is going to be label 2 and I let me change the color for this label 2 uh, this is going to be let me put uh, something good color here let me put it a uh, green color green is my favorite okay so when i hit or when i refresh this default.aspx page you will see the actions uh, this is going to be violet and this is going to be green color in that way you can change your label color also you, this is the four color in the same way you can change your background color let me let me change uh, the background color or the background color of this label so i will put label one dot back color equals to system dot uh, drawing oh i am pathetic at, at typing drawing dot color dot let me put it uh, in this is my blue color so uh, it would be good if I have an yellow here. Okay, so when I refresh again this ASPX page, you will see there is a yellow background color for my label one. This looks quite nice, right? Okay, so in that, in that way you can work with your label control. Now let's understand the button control. Now button, all these controls actually had seen in your Windows application, but we are revising for ASP.NET. So for, for that sec section, what we're going to do in this for the button control, we will specifically take one button in our default.aspx. Let me take one button here. Oh, I need to make a space here, right? So let me again delete this and let me have a space and put my and drag my drag my this drag this button here i'll change the text property and i will write here click me and you will change you will see that it reflects here in the dot aspx page it also reflects in the source content of the html you can also change this button property uh, sorry the id property of every control it is necessary actually but i'm i'm just for the sake of this um, simple tutorial i'm not doing it Okay, uh, now in this page, I mean, this is going to be, um, you know, you had taken this button control. Now the code is going to be, you know, whenever this button is going to be clicked, 
I need that something is going to be shown inside the label control. So what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll first generate the click event of this button. So I'll double click in the same way you are doing in Windows application. So I'll double click on that and it will generate button one click event. And inside that what I'm gonna do is I'll copy this label two dot text and four color. I'll copy that. I, I mean sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll cut it and I'll paste inside this event. So what exactly this is going this is going to be do is whenever you click on your button this label 2 is going to be fired up and it will show you the string or the message that you had put it. Okay so when you refresh this button again refresh this URL again you will see there is there is this label actually you can hide it but right now just for the sake of you know the simplicity I'm just I'm not putting it. Okay so when I when I uh, when I click on this click me button you will see this label 2 is going to be in action. Oh, why this is not working? Let me let me see this. There is label 2 dot text and which is inside the button one click event. Oh this is not saved. So let me save it and now when I uh, when I refresh this when I click on this button and you see it shows you how uh, how you all are doing. Let me show you again. When I click on this default.aspx and I make view in browser, you will see our browser has having one button and the label control is not in action right now. But when I make this click me button, when I press on this button, you will see the label 2 is going to be shown up. It says how you all are doing. And I say I'm fine. We all are fine. Okay, so this is the simplest example of button control and the next thing is uh, we gonna see is text box control. Well, text box control is also going to be simplest, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be simple example. You had already seen it in the Windows application. So I get back to my default.aspx and uh, let me take that control. So I'll drag and drop text box control here. I dragged it. Now what I'm gonna do is let me take this uh, button let me put this text box here so what I'm gonna do is whenever I write something inside this text box and when I click on this click me button this label is going to be fired up now the thing is this label actually this label is having some string here see I already have some string that is that says how you are doing but I don't need that what I need is Whatever you write inside this text box, the same content or the same string is going to be going to be loaded inside this label. I want that type of thing. So first of all, I'll cut this label and I and I and I put it over here across the or side by side to this uh, text box so that you know it's going to be uh, visible for you. So the thing is, whatever I write inside this text box, it is going to be shown up inside this label. So for that I already have the button click event. Instead of this static string here I need to remove this and I have to do is I need to provide my text box 1 and whatever the text I write for that. So now text box 1 dot text whatever the text is going to be there inside the text box it is going to be loaded inside the label 2. Okay. So now when I when I right click on this view in browser and let me open this up and I will write here hello there what is up and when I make a click me button when I pre press this you will see the label 2 is going to be shown up this message what's up hello there what is up so this is somehow you can work with your you know web server control and these are the three basic controls on which you should have to be gripped and you should have to be you know a hold on so that you can work around with ASP.NET application. I hope you are getting this actually these controls have so many properties you can work around like if this text box is, is have to be password then you can directly go to the text mode here and you can select here the password. So now you see in the application when you refresh it you will see all these are in the password format. Okay, I hope you understand it. Thank you so much for listening to me and please don't, um, don't forget to